Good morning, guys. So, I actually have some stuff that I need to do outside today. But I have received my, well, one order of my seed garlic because it is fall time. It is almost time to start planting garlic, at least for me here in South Carolina, Zone 8B. It is actually a really beautiful day today. It is going to be quite windy uh, because there is a storm coming, but we do need to get outside. And so we're going to go outside. But first, I wanted to show you my first order from, I think this one's from Journeys that came in of seed garlic. Actually, I lied. This is from Seeds Now. So I ordered all soft neck varieties because um, soft neck varieties are supposed to do uh, better inside of mild climates, which here in South Carolina, it is a mild uh, winter. I did order a bulb of each one, and I also ordered um, one pound of elephant garlic. Last year, I did um, order elephant garlic as well as garlic, seed garlic, and plant them, but I didn't have the garden set up right away, and so I used pools to plant them in and containers, and although the elephant garlic did uh, produce a decent-sized bulb, the regular garlic didn't get really big, and I think it's because um, my dogs, uh, specifically my one dog, kept getting in the garden and scratching out all of my garlic, and so I don't think that it had... Um, its full potential to get the bulb size that it needed to be so i look forward to planting more garlic this year and then i also planted hardneck varieties which hardneck varieties are um harder to get big bulbs here in a milder climate because they need to be uh colder temperatures which i did put them in the refrigerator for like a month i still didn't have really good results and so i look forward to next season as because that was my first season out in the garden with the soil and so now that it's had nutrients and time to sit and plants planted in it i look forward to getting better garlic results this year so this is the box that it has come in and each um garlic bulb is in its separate container so that's good to know this one's really big i can feel it already let me open it so I just opened that one. That one's huge. <laughs> it looks like the size of like an elephant garlic, although it's not. So I look, uh, I don't know how you say that, Natuka Rose. But this one's a little smaller, but still pretty big. I don't know exactly where I'll be planting all my garlic, but I'm so happy to have the first round. I did order from another company, I think Journeys. Um, and so those should be shipping here soon as well. Okay, I do have my container of seeds out here because I am going to be planting seeds today. I also have some, um, what is it called, Bra uh, brassicas that I didn't get in the ground yet. But I want to give you guys an update on what's been going in, on in the garden. I did show you guys in my last video me pulling out the sweet potatoes that was here because the goats uh, got free and stuck their head through here and ate all of the vines. And so I decided to just go ahead and pull out if there was any sweet potatoes in here. And there were a few um, small size ones um, and I was happy with that. And so and then I just left the vines uh, here but I need to uh, get some more soil and refill this bed. This was like a hygge culture bed where I did have lots of food scraps and wood chips and stuff at the bottom and then I put soil on top but now messing with it um, and pulling out all the sweet potatoes it has um, definitely shrunken and so I want to get some more soil in here. I did go ahead and plant this, um, is this oregano in this corner here? I'm actually not sure what I planted in there. I think it was oregano, but either way, I'm going to leave that in that section. But I do want to add some soil to this other uh, section here. The goats also ate these um, tomato transplants I had. These were tomatoes that I grew off suckers, and they were really big and lovely, and they were flowering and starting to do all the things. And they came, you can see right here where they broke that, they ate up most of all of can see right there where they broke it it looks like a worm a tomato hornworm was in here but no it was just goats they also ate this rose right here uh, as well as this one on the bright side though i looked over and saw that this rose is blooming and it looks lovely 
they also ate this rose and this is my climbing thornless arbor rose belinda's blush they ate it on this side i guess they couldn't reach that side because they didn't eat that one so lots of plant damage from goats this green stalk is looking amazing i did uh, transplant all of these plants into here i think only these three sections one two and three is where I planted seeds. So I think this is where our, I will start. I know that I planted cilantro here and the cilantro seems to be doing good. Um, I could probably fit a few more uh, seeds in there, but I think that is doing good. <laughs> this, um, this is spearmint right here. And this is thyme. No, this is, let's see. Oh, peppermint. So this peppermint right here is smelling amazing this plant right here i don't know what it is because my mind's not working right now but it looks amazing as well and then obviously this has a tag so i got this from the store this oregano is huge and so i probably will there's flowers right there so i probably will cut some of this oregano um right here and dehydrate that well there's a bee So I actually just planted the empty spots in the green stalk. So I planted more cilantro. Um, I planted these mustard greens and I'm gonna use them as baby greens. So I just sprinkled them. The same thing with this butter crunch lettuce. Um, I planted flat leaf parsley. I already planted this parsley and um, I just replanted it because not a lot was growing. I did some of this dwarf kale. Again, I'm using it for uh, salad greens, and so I sprinkled a bunch around. I didn't put just one. I did Bloomingdale spinach, and I did arugula. So those are the spots that I planted in the green stock. In this raised bed, I did a whole video where I planted two different types of beets, turnips, as well as, hmm, I'm not sure what else, but a lot of the beets have been this size. And so I'm wondering, and then a lot of uh, seedlings have died, but it was super hot. And so I am going to actually water this bed and replant some beets in here. I do have my pack of root vegetables here. And, or is this all beets? Nope, this is, all root vegetables so it has turnips beets and carrots i think i'm just going to fill this whole bed up with uh beets majority because i feel like the turnips are looking pretty good i actually just realized i still have this bag of potting soil right here so i am going to go ahead and add it to that bed that was low over there i actually had a bag and a half and i've added in some perlite as well as some of this feather meal and now i'm going to water this bed right here that i have the beets and the turnips planted and plant some more beets in here. Since this uh, bag of beets I have is already open, I am going to use this one because the other ones I have are closed. So, and this is a mix of, oops, this is a mix. And so I am going to, um, just go ahead and plant all of these. Beet seeds are a little on the bigger side compared to like seeds like carrots, but it's still a lot when you have a big space. And so I am actually going to just be trying to drop some not so close together and then maybe moving the soil to gently cover them. So in this bed where the goats ate the tomatoes, I also had um, a squash plant in between each one of the tomatoes and they ate those as well. 
So I think I'm going to plant, these are radishes. So I think I'm actually going to plant carrots all between uh, where the squash were. I'm going to plant carrots and carrots. And then along, I'm going to fill in with some more radishes. As long as you keep the carrot seeds moist, they should all germinate. And by me sprinkling them and then watering them, um, they don't have to be planted really deep. So by me sprinkling them on the soil and then watering them, um, they will get uh, covered by soil. So I found my radish seeds and I did get these seeds. I did a video on survival garden seeds where they come in packets where you can get like the uh, gardener's pack, the homesteader's pack or the farmer's pack. Um, and they were really a good price. There's actually only a few, maybe 20 seeds left in this pack. And so I'm going to actually just plant all of them. And with these, I am going to um, go ahead and poke the seeds down. For the majority of the broccolis that I planted in this bed, they have grown, they are looking really good. Same thing with the cabbages up here. Um, they are looking really good, minimal uh, bug damage. But I did have a few plants that I didn't plant out and so I'm going to go ahead and water them first, especially this one. That one looks pretty um, moist. Actually, there's two plants there, but this one looks really dry. So I'm gonna water that one and then I'm going to go ahead and get them planted. I also have some plants right there that I'm gonna get planted. So I'm gonna go get the water hose. Before I planted out this bed, I went ahead and weeded it and then just put all the weeds in this. Um, this kale has actually been here since beginning of spring. I planted this year, so it's actually been surviving and I cut it back and it's come back. So it's dinosaur kale. That's funny. Just peeked over at this squash plant and realized that there's a few uh, zucchinis growing on in there. With these cabbages, I was planting one on each side and then down the middle I had planted uh, carrot seeds. Um, and then there was a tomato here that I didn't plant a cabbage here because it was a sprouting tomato, but it's died or I pulled it out or something. So I'm going to fill in that spot with these um, plants. So it is completely planted. I got the rest of the cabbages and the cauliflowers planted down here. I did go ahead and end up putting some plants in the middle. Right now I have my son watering uh, each plant. The rest of the cauliflower that couldn't fit in that bed, I went ahead and planted them up here. I feel so good to have all of that stuff finally planted. It has been <laughs> hot, uh, way hotter than it's supposed to be for fall. Uh, but there is a storm coming like I said and so today has felt beautiful the sun isn't out um, it's a cloudy day it's only I think in the high 70s today uh, and tomorrow's gonna be like 66 but it's supposed to be raining all day so I'm glad to be able to get out here today and get <laughs> my plants planted and some seeds planted as well and to look at this lovely lush green stalk uh, looking fabulous <laughs> <laughs> 